We often get asked how to assess silver leaf whitefly parasitism. Today I'll just do a brief uh, run through on how to do that using a digital microscope. The microscope we're going to use today is a Dynalite. To adjust the magnification you just use the focus controller here. So it has a magnification from 50 to 200 times. We've got the stand here that helps keep the Dynalite nice and steady and you can use this controller here to focus the image. So the Dynalite is powered by USB so I've got mine plugged into the laptop. So we'll just zoom in now and show you what a parasitized whitefly looks like. In a healthy silverleaf whitefly nymph, there are two yellow kidney-shaped structures in the middle of the body. The mycetomes are symmetrical and parallel to one another. These mycetomes lose their symmetry as they're displaced by the developing parasitoid. The next symptom of parasitism is when the wasp is pupating inside the host. Over time, the wasp darkens and becomes more obvious. The final evidence of parasitism is the circular exit hole that the wasp chews as they leave the host. This is distinctly different from where a healthy whitefly has emerged through a T-shaped window. Once you've become familiar with the signs of parasitism, you can then move on and make an assessment of what number of nymphs are parasitized by scanning over the leaf. You can use this information to make an assessment of parasitism over time through the season or in the situation where you've done a parasitoid release to assess the efficacy of that release. Mm -hmm.